Schedule of Indian Constitution The Indian Constitution is a comprehensive document that outlines the framework and functioning of the Indian government. It is divided into 25 parts, with Part 12 specifically dealing with the schedules of the Constitution. These schedules contain various lists, forms, and other important information. Here is a detailed description of the 12 schedules of the Indian Constitution. First Schedule this schedule contains the list of states and union territories of India, along with their territorial boundaries and administrative divisions. Second schedule. It deals with the provisions related to the emoluments, allowances, privileges, and so on, of the President, Governors of States, Speaker and Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha, and Chairman and Deputy Chairman of Raja Sabha. Third schedule. This schedule consists of the forms of oaths or affirmations for different offices, such as President, Prime Minister, Ministers, Members of Parliament, etc. Fourth Schedule. It contains provisions related to the allocation of seats in the Raja Sabha, the Upper House of Parliament, for each state and union territory. Fifth Schedule. The Fifth Schedule deals with the administration and control of scheduled areas and scheduled tribes. It provides for the protection of the rights and interests of the scheduled tribes in certain specified areas. Sixth Schedule. This schedule pertains to the administration of tribal areas in Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram. It provides for autonomous district councils and regional councils in these areas. Seventh Schedule. The seventh schedule of the Constitution lists the division of powers between the Union, central government, and the states. It contains three lists. Union list. It includes subjects on which only the central government can make laws, such as defense, foreign affairs, currency, etc. State list. It includes subjects on which only the state governments can make laws, such as police, public health, agriculture, etc. Concurrent list. It includes subjects on which both the central and state governments can make laws, such as criminal law, marriage, bankruptcy, etc. Eighth Schedule. This schedule contains the list of languages recognized by the Indian Constitution. Currently, there are 22 scheduled languages, including Hindi, Bengali, Gujarati, Tamil, Urdu, etc. Ninth Schedule. It was added to protect certain laws from judicial review. Acts and regulations listed in the Ninth Schedule are immune from being challenged in courts on the grounds of violation of fundamental rights. Tenth Schedule. Also known as the Anti-Defection Law, this schedule contains provisions related to the disqualification of members of Parliament, MPs, and members of Legislative Assemblies, MLAs, on grounds of defection from their political party. Eleventh Schedule. This schedule deals with the powers, authority, and responsibilities of panchayats, local self-government institutions, in rural areas. It contains 29 functional items within the jurisdiction of panchayats. Twelfth Schedule. The Twelfth Schedule relates to the powers, authority, and responsibilities of municipalities, local self-government institutions, in urban areas. It contains 18 functional items within the jurisdiction of municipalities. These schedules are an integral part of the Indian Constitution and provide specific provisions and guidelines for various aspects of governance, representation, and administration in the country. Thank you.